that just sounds like the same thing we had before, just now you can't monetize it if it's five seconds. This is a community-supported legal education channel. Find out how you can support our mission at the links in the description below. So YouTube has dropped an update to its copyright policies for manual claims on music. Let me read this to you first and then we'll talk about it. Improving the creator copyright experience has been a top priority. In July, we announced timestamps and editing tools that you can use to more easily remove and resolve manual content ID claims. Today, we're announcing additional changes to manual claiming policies that will help address manual claims on short or unintentional uses of music. You can read more on the blog. So the 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 core or key phrase here is we're announcing an update which prevents copyright owners from making money on manual claims for short song segments or unintentional audio, such as background music in a coffee shop. To be clear, including someone else's content without permission, regardless of how short the clip is, means your video may still be claimed and copyright owners will still be able to either block monetization or block the video from being viewed. As as always, you can dispute the claim if you disagree, or use our suite of editing tools, which include mute song, replace song, or trim, to remove the claim and the restrictions that come with it. So let's go back and just take a quick look at that. So it says, it prevents copyright owners from making money on five second claims or unintentional audio, but it doesn't change that your video may still be claimed and copyright owners may still be able to block monetization or block the video from being viewed. What does it change? They can't monetize the clip. It means they can't monetize the five second clip, but they can still take you down. They can still take down the clip or claim that you've misused copyright in that five second clip, but they will no longer be able to manually monetize it. Basically, if it's like a five second or background clip, they basically either have to copy strike you or just leave it. I think so. Let's see if it says, how do you define short segments of a song? It means single digit seconds, five seconds, but there are special cases and exceptions, such as when the entire video is mostly made up of compilations of short music clips, such as a mashup, which was my first question and apparently their first answer. Creators also shouldn't focus on a specific threshold or time limit, but should be aware that any use of unlicensed music can result in a claim. That just sounds like the same thing we had before, just now you can't monetize it if it's five seconds. How do you define unintentional use of music? It includes instances where a song wasn't intentionally added to a video by the creator and there is no interaction between the creator and the music. For example, a car passes in the background with music playing or a television is heard in the background from another room. So that's cool. So YouTube will consider now that if you didn't mean to include music and I'm assuming this has to be like at some kind of obvious standard. I don't mean like if there's crystal clear background music playing that was literally added through a non-linear editor. Yeah, that's pretty much not, not what we're talking about here. We mean if I'm recording this show right now and my neighbor who works on his house next door, uh, my, my, my windows are paper thin and yes, I'm gonna have to replace the windows as soon as someone moves in there and starts playing music, I know. And it's my thing, it's not, I'm not upset about it at all. But if my neighbor started playing music now and it played through here, Twitch or YouTube could mute the stream because or or I get a, a, a monetization claim or something because I had used that music. Well, I didn't mean to use that music and it might be pretty obvious from the quality of the music and my commentary on it that it's coming from some other place. You know, maybe I say, oh, sorry about the background music. My neighbor's playing his radio or whatever. So that's what they're talking about. How will the policy be enforced? As of today, partners will be notified of the new music policy as well as any new manual claims that don't adhere to it. We'll ramp up policy enforcement mid-September. Mid After that time, those who repeatedly fail to follow this policy will have access to manual claiming revoked. So you can still be abusively claimed until mid-September, whenever that is. That's YouTube's opinion on what mid-September is, not yours. And uh, if those people abuse it, maybe YouTube will revoke their access to manual claims. What if more of my content is blocked as a result of this policy change? These changes will likely be accompanied by new challenges, including a potential for more content to be blocked. But we feel that this is an important step in creating a fairer system for creators and music partners in the long term. And reminder that even if your content is blocked, you can still edit out the claimed content to unblock your video. 
So that doesn't sound like so great of a change as it originally sounded like, does it? They can't monetize the five second segments but that's it, everything else is the same. They still get to manually claim the video, and now instead of monetizing it, they just get to shut down the video. Is that what I heard? Creators aren't willing to do that. A lot of times creators aren't willing to um, copy strike a video, um, and instead will um, will claim it monetarily. And if they can't do that, they'll either have to make a choice about whether they want to actually take the video down, or if they just wanna not worry about it anymore, I guess. It yeah, that, that's that's basically what I'm hearing here. YouTube says the best way to avoid these issues is not to use unlicensed content in your videos, even when it's unintentional music playing in the background. Instead, choose content from trusted sources such as the YouTube audio library, which has new tracks added every month. If you do find yourself with an unintended claim, you can use our editing tools to remove the claimed content and the restrictions that come with it. And of course, if you feel that your use qualifies for an exception to copyright like fair use, which is an exception, but it's also a right. Fair use is a right itself. Be sure you understand what that means and how our dispute process works before uploading your video. Our enforcement of these new policies will apply to all manual claims beginning in mid-September. So it's not even, it's not even really being enforced now. It's just being informed now. And we strive to make YouTube a fair ecosystem for everyone, including songwriters, artists, and YouTube creators. We acknowledge that these changes may result in more blocked content, but we feel this is an important step. Our goal is to unlock new value for everyone by powering creative reuse and content mashups while fairly compensating all rights holders. So it's an interesting policy, um, and I don't know whether I like it or not. I think we're just going to have to see. So on the back end, so say I have my uh, my video and you can hear music in the background and somebody else uh, claims it. Do they get all of the advertising revenue for that or do Once they, they get a portion so of it? So it used to be that they got all of it uh, minus the YouTube cut. I mean, YouTube's going to take the 45% or whatever the agreement is. It used to be that they would get all the all the all that revenue, and now it's only the revenue if they they only get the revenue if they win the dispute. But yes, if they win the dispute, they get all the revenue. So if there if there's no dispute or if they win the dispute, they get all that revenue. Basically, a hundred percent of the non YouTube cut of the revenue. So nothing goes to the creator who made the video. Then even if it's even if the video is an hour long and they made a six second misuse of copyrighted content, which which is actually the way the law plays out. If if Katy Perry misuses joyful noise, the, the disgorging of the profits is all the profits, not some small portion of the profits because she used some small portion of, of, of the of joyful noise. No, it's a disgorging of the profits. So let us know what you think about that in the comments below. Do you agree with me that this is not as great a change as it originally sounded? Or are you still confident that this will be a positive change and make for a better world for YouTubers, et cetera? All right, everybody, that is our show. I am Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney. I'm off to Glasgow. So thank you for your support. As we move Kaylee to Glasgow, we're gonna be doing a vlog of some kind, which we will figure out how to post to our YouTube channel. I'll probably end up doing some kind of playlist and, if, and we'll give you the link to the playlist and then we'll uncheck the notify subscribers thing when we add new videos to the playlist or maybe I'll I'll just add unlisted videos to the playlist and then that way only the playlist subscribers will get notified. How about that? How does that sound? Thank you to our supporters. Without your support, this channel would not be possible at $500 in the months of July and August. Joshua Davis with Tanda Pay has supported our channel and we'll be making a video about his Tanda Pay service so that hopefully we can help him launch that service into a larger effort. Thank you to the $50 plus supporters, John Steele, Gavin Barnard, Evie, Kyle Mudrock, Michael Pierce, Yanda Gray, Black Leaf, Spirit Bear, Daniel Perez, Snorri Wizotsky, Not Mike, Joe Tyson, and King Macro. Thank you very much for your support at the $50 level. And thank you to the $5 plus supporters who are also scrolling on the LED panel behind me along with the other rewards as well. We appreciate all of your support and 
let's put some dog video up on the uh, as the crawl goes out here. I'll be doing that vlog with Kaylee starting probably tomorrow or Monday, and uh, we'll see how that goes. So I'll post uh, a link in the description and probably in the outro here. Have a good one. I'm Leonard French, your favorite copyright attorney. With me in the virtual studio today has been Brandon and Kaylee and Technical. Thank you very much to everyone. Have a great day, a great week, and I'll see you in the videos that drop. Love you all. Bye.